So this afternoon we're going to carry on with our factor work that we started the other day. Now who can remind me what a factor of a number is? Jackson? Um, an integer that divides equally into an integer. Very good, it's an integer that divides equally into another integer. Okay? So if you say that we're looking at the number 12, all of the numbers that divide equally into 12 are its factors, okay? And that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Now, which two factors do numbers always have? Every single integer in infinity would have these two factors. Brianna? One of itself. Very good. Itself and one. So what we're going to look at today, though, is we're going to look at some factors of some numbers, and then we're going to look at the prime factors. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to remind ourselves what the prime numbers are. So I'm going to write those over here. And we're going to go up to 20. So who can tell me what the first prime number is? Matthew. Well done, two. It's not one, is it? Because remember, one is not a prime number. Okay, what's the next prime number? Three. Three. Next one? Five. Next one? Seven. Seven. Next one? Careful. Careful. Eleven. Well done. Eleven. Next one? Unlucky for some. Thirteen. Thirteen. Next one? Seventeen. Seventeen. And the next one is not, and the last one under 20 is 19. So they're your prime numbers. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start with a relatively small number, like we're going to look at 40. Okay, we're going to look at 40. Now, who can tell me what the factors of 40 are going to be? We know, don't we, that it's going to have two factors because we've just discussed that. So what are our first two factors that we'll write. One well done. So we'll write one here and we'll write 40 here. Because remember we need one is the smallest, 40 is the largest. Okay, now then we go by a process of elimination, don't we? So what's the next integer after one? Two. two. So let's have a think about it. Does two divide into 40 with no remainder? Yes. It does. What's its pair? 20. So we've got 2 and 20. Okay. What's the next integer after 2? Um, 4. Does 3 divide into 4? No, because I was. That, you are right. The next integer that does divide is 4, but the next integer is 3. Oh. And my question was going to be you're just too fast for me, Hannah. The question was going to be does it divide into 40? She's already answered the question. No, it doesn't. So our next one after 3 is 4. Does 4 divide into 40? It's um, 10. Yes, so its partner is 10. Okay. What about 5? Does 5 divide into 40? Jacob? Yes. And its partner is? 8. eight. That's right, 5 and 8. Now, 9? No, it doesn't, does it? 6? No, there's nothing in between. So these are the factors of 40. 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 10, 20 and 40. Now, let's write that here. These are the factors. Now, who thinks they can tell me what the prime factors are? Which of those factors are primes? Jackson? Five. And? Two. Two. Two and five are the prime factors. Two and five. Now, what I want you to do now is using two as many times as you want to, using five as many times as you want to, and only a multiplication sign how can you make 40? Have a think about it. I'm going to write here the product of the prime factors. Can 
anyone make 40 only using 2 and 5 and a multiplication sign? No. no. It, oh, you can. It's possible. It is possible. Have a think about it. You can use 2 as many times as you want. You can use 5 as many times as you want. You can't do it with just 2 and 5 because 2 times 5 is 10. But how might you make 40 just using the prime factors? Is Hayden. Is 2 times 2 times 5 times 5? Right, two times two is four, times five is 20, times five is 100. So no, it's not that, but you are very much on the right track. JT? Three times five times two times two. Very good. Now, just because I'm a little bit like that, can we put them in ascending order? Rather than two times five times two times two, let's put them in ascending order. We've got two times two times two times five okay so that two times two is four times two is eight times five is forty that's what we call the product of the prime factors why is it the product of the prime factors perfect product means multiply that's right okay so you're all with me so what we're going to do now, we're going to do one more smaller number and then we're going to do a really big one and I'm going to show you how to do it. So, can, let me have a think. Um, let's do 24. Let's do 24. Okay. Who'd like to have a go at doing the factors for me then? Well, we know what the first two are going to be, don't we? The first and the last. Adam? One and two. Oh, one, oh the, yeah. Okay, one and, one and two. What's your next one then? Are you going to do them in ascending order or are you going to do them as pairs? Um, what would the last one be? 24. Yeah, 24. Okay. What's the pair that goes with two? Four. Four, Four comes next. Oh, no, no, it doesn't actually. What's the pair that goes with two? What, two times what is 24? What's half of 24? 12. Good boy, well done, 12. Put you on the spot there, well done. Okay, so what comes next, Brianna? Oh, I Three times seven. Three times <coughs> eight. Eight, that's right, three times eight. Okay, what comes next, Jackson? Four times six. Four times six. Okay, and obviously in between four and six there's five. Does five divide into 24? No, no it doesn't, does it? Okay, what are the prime factors? What are the prime factors? So look at all of those factors, see which ones on that list are also on that list. The prime factors. Adam? Uh, two. And... Have a look on this list over here. Adam, the other three. Adam. Three. Well done. Two and three. So the prime factors of 24 are two and three. Who can do the product of the prime factors? So you've got to only use two and only use three, but as many times as you want, and a multiplication sign. Who can do that for me? Have a think. Jake? Yeah, um, so it's three times three times three times three and then times Right, three times three times three times three is actually 81, isn't it? Three times three is nine, times three is 27, times three is 81. <coughs> Have a think. Bryn? Uh, two times two times two times three. Right, two times two times two times three. Let's see if that works, shall we? Two times two times two times three. Let's see if it works. Two times two is? Four. Times two Eight. times three? Eight. 24. Well done, it does. Now, this is called what? What type of notation is this? Or what type of form is that? Good girl. Expanded form. Expanded notation. 
How else could I write it? How else could I write that bit particularly? Six times three. Wait, no. It's got to have the prime numbers in it. Eight times three. You've got to have the prime numbers in it. It is eight. But how would I write a neater way of writing two times two times two? We've done this. JT. Two to the power of three. Perfect. Good boy. Two to the power of three times three. So this is your, these are your factors. These are your prime factors. This is the product of your prime factors written in expanded notation. This is the product of your prime factors written in index notation. Okay? Now, that's all well and good, isn't it? Because they're quite small numbers. Can I rub this off? Has everybody finished? Yes. Yeah. Good. Now, we are going to do a much bigger number. We are going to do... 500. Okay. Now, I don't actually know the factors of 500 off the top of my head. I suppose if I really thought about it, I could sit and work them all out. But I don't know what the, prime, uh, the factors are. And I definitely don't know what the prime factors are. So we have a way of helping us to work that out for big numbers like this. And it's called a factor tree, okay? Now, trees have what? Branches. Branches. Branches, that's right. Now, each number on the factor <coughs> tree has two branches, okay? So the 500 has got two branches, like that. Now, you have to think of a multiplication sum that gives you the answer 500. Who can think of one? Because there are quite a few different ones. Who can think of one? Jacob. 250 times 2. Well done, 250 times 2. So 250 times 2. Now you may have thought 500, uh, sorry, 5 times 100. You may have thought 10 times 50. You may have thought 4 times 125. There are lots of different ones. It doesn't actually matter which one you use. What matters is, is that if there is a prime number in it, you put a little ring around it. So we put the circle around the prime number. Because that's the end of that branch. So when we get to a prime number, it's the end of the branch. It doesn't go any further. So this number here, 250, will also have two branches because it's not a prime number. Who can give me a, a multiplication sum that gives me the answer 250? 25 times 10. 25 times 10. 25 times 10. I, in my head, I had 5 times 50. Did anyone have 2 times 125? Yeah. Doesn't actually matter. Don't worry. As long as, if there's a prime number in it, you circle it. Now, is there a prime number on either of those branches? No. There's not, is there? 25 isn't a prime number and 10 isn't a prime number. So both of those numbers will have branches again. Okay? So remember, if it's not a prime... It has two branches. Now, who can give me a multiplication sum that makes 25? Five times five. Five times five. Okay? Tell me what I need to do, Jacob. Circle both of them, because they're both primes, aren't they? And who can give me a multiplication sum for 10, Bryn? Two times five. Two times five, well done. Two times five. And obviously they are both primes, so we circle those two. So the prime factors of 500 are what? Honey? 2, 5. 2 and 5, that's right. 2 and 5. So the prime factors are 2 and 5. Now, what is the product of the prime factors? What I'd like you to do is get out your calculator 
and do multiply those numbers together that have got a circle around them and see what happens. Can we, do we, can we use as many as we want? No, no, no. All I want you to do is multiply the numbers that have a circle around them and see what happens. What do you notice? What happens, Adam? It equals 500, doesn't it? 5 times 5 times 2 times 5 times 2 equals 500. So the product of the prime factors is 2 times 2, because I'm doing it in ascending order because I like things to be neat, times 5 times 5 times 5. Who can tell me how I can write that a little bit more tidily? So we have it in expanded notation. How could we write it in index notation? Yes, still. Um, two to the power of two times five to the power of three. Awesome. Good girl. Two to the power of two times five to the power of three. Pretty cool, isn't it? I love factor trees. Right, OK. We're going to do another one. So can I rub the factor tree out? Has everyone written it down? Yeah. Yes. Okay, don't worry about that. I'm not rubbing that out. I'm just rubbing the fact tree out. So, remember, when I'm writing on the board, you need to be writing it too so that you keep up. Okay, let's have another go. We're going to have 480 this time. So it's quite close to... Okay. 480. So, is 480 a prime number? No, it isn't. So how many branches will it have? Four. Um, no, two. Two. Two branches. Okay. Who can give me a sum, multiplication sum, the answer for which is 480? JT. 240 times two. 240 times two. So 240 times two. What do I need to do? Jacob? Circle the two. Okay, who can give me a multiplication sum? The answer for which is 240. Daniel? Um, 120 times 2. Well done, 120. 120 times 2. And obviously 2 is a prime, so we circle it. Who can give me a multiplication sum for 120? 60 times 2. Well done, 60 times 2. Put the 60 this side this time and put the two there just for a bit of variety okay what about 60 30 times 2, 30 times two. <laughs> this is it doesn't go on forever but it does go on forever it? okay what about 30 then who can give me a sum for 30 jack 15 times 2, 15 times two. <laughs> okay 15 times 2. And the 2 is a prime, so we circle it. And finally, it's an odd number, so there won't be a 2 in it. Who can give me a multiplication sum for 15? Adam? 5 times 3. 3 times 5, or 5 times 3, that's right. 3 times 5. Which are both primes also, aren't they? So, what I want you to do on your calculator is multiply 2 times 2 times two, times two, times two, times three, times five. So what does it come to? 480, that's right. So. The product of the prime factors of 480 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, because there are five of them, times 3 times 5. Who'd like to tell me how I would write that in index notation? So that's expanded notation. How would I write it in index notation? 2 to the power of... How many are there? 2 to the power of... Three, two to the power of four. How many twos are oh, there? I, I did it wrong. I didn't circle. Two to the power 
Right. So five. Five, five. That's right. Times three times five. Times three times five. That's right. Okay. Can we stop there then?